And I know we're dreaming about fall, but it is still July now, moving into August after all later on this week. But we do have some typical summer heat and humidity to deal with this week at first. But also, we've got some showers that we're contending with even at this hour. As we can see, exact track radar showing pretty widespread rain shower activity across northern Illinois. We'll be moving into southern Wisconsin here soon. And some pockets of heavier rain are still across far southern Lee County. So that's going to be, I think, where we see the higher rain totals from this, uh, at least today's rainfall. But as we head over the rest of the morning, putting, putting future track into motion, we'll get the widespread activity out by about 8 o'clock or towards 9, but then after it, it's going to turn a little more scattered. So we still have some showers and storms to contend with, so grab that umbrella as you head out the door, but expect the activity to turn much more hit or miss as we head towards the late morning and even into the early afternoon hours too. You still see some spotty activity rolling through, but then I think especially by the evening hours, it looks like we'll be nice and dry. Earlier, we were worried about a potential severe weather threat, but it looks like with this morning's rain kind of lingering for a little bit longer that we won't be able to recharge that atmospheric battery. So some good news there that maybe we're looking at a calmer end to the day. But otherwise, just make sure to grab those umbrellas as you head out the door. Temperatures later on this afternoon climbing into the upper 70s or low 80s as we have a little bit more sunshine that we get to see later on today. But with skies continuing to clear out tonight, winds also calming down too, especially those areas that see a lot of the rain today. Could be seeing some fog later late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So about this time tomorrow, watch out potentially for some low visibilities as that fog could be developing as we head into our Tuesday morning. Otherwise, once the fog burns off, though, we've got a mostly dry day, pretty hot and humid, though. Temperatures, air temperatures into the upper 80s. Factor in the humidity, though, going to be feeling well into the 90s. So pretty hot and humid day and last few days of July, too. But also uh, for our day tomorrow, going to be watching out for some thunderstorms late in the day. Some of those could be on the stronger side. Now we're in a level two out of five risk for areas essentially southwest of Rockford. So you can see there in the yellow shading there, that's that level two out of five, mainly for damaging winds and, and potentially some flooding rainfall. So we'll have to watch out for that later in the day. As we see on future track, we're going to be watching potential for storms developing in Iowa, and then those will be moving into our far southwestern area as soon as about five o'clock, although it looks like better chances maybe later than that as we continue to put future track into motion here going to be fairly scattered at first and then as we head towards the overnight hours could see some more thunderstorms bubbling up that could be more of an area wide thing although we'll have to see just whether we can get any kind of severe weather out of this given that it is one o'clock in the morning now we're talking about Wednesday further into Wednesday and into Thursday too, also looking at multiple rounds of potential strong to severe thunderstorms as we find ourselves kind of on the edge of the ring of fire like we were talking about earlier. That's going to be a potential active stretch, but also when we're talking about that pattern, we're talking about heat and humidity too. Uh, heat indices into the mid and upper 90s through Thursday, so be prepared for a sweltering week of weather up ahead and active too, especially Wednesday into Thursday. Some storms could linger into Friday, but as we look in your most accurate 10-day forecast, we see conditions calming down and cooling down at least back to seasonable levels as we head into the first weekend and further into the month of August.